we are aware as uh, distributors that uh, through the Manufacturers Association, uh, KRA engaged us uh, where EABL and distributors were, were represented in a stakeholders meeting yesterday to be able to have what they call a public participation in her views. What we wish to categorically state that let the public participation not be just a PR stunt where you're just having a room, a people in a room to just tick the box that public participation has been done. Pre-COVID, KRA was already, the decline of collection on excess duty on beer products had already declined by 17% pre-COVID. Uh, Post-COVID, we've seen that we've closed our businesses and we're operating almost at 15%, 15 to 10%, where we had outlets close, and as distributors, we are basically just operating with a skeleton, with a skeleton staff. We want to thank the president that he actually gave a waiver and uh, a cushion on VAT and other, other taxes in order to stimulate the economy and in order to stimulate manufacturers and to keep them going. Uh, the spirit of such uh, a cushion was to encourage businesses to continue to operate. Having an excise duty now put on the 31 products where the beer product is one of the largest industry where KRA collects tax basically makes the efforts of the president zero. Because what we will have, you'll be on one side, you're trying to stimulate, on the other hand, you're trying to kill a, businesses. And would want KRA to benchmark with already existing countries. You know, the best practices is through benchmark. We have South Africa, which is one of the, of the biggest uh, alcohol uh, distillership country, had already a mon moratorium in place on excess duty on all beer and the industry, the alcohol industry, where they basically gave a moratorium. We have Uganda and Tanzania, where before pre-COVID, uh, the excess duty in Kenya is five times, was five times what they collect in Tanzania and Uganda, which basically made us pre-COVID, even before COVID, have illicit brews from Tanzania and Uganda make it into the market, where you have dumping, where you have cheaper products come into the market, and you have illicit into the market, making us be, be in a position where we cannot compete. So therefore, we employ and we really pray to KRA uh, to have meaningful conversations with us. The, the, the spending power as we are now in COVID is almost at zero. People are basically trying to survive where a consumer is basically weighing, do I get, do I buy flour and do I buy, do I pay for my house rent uh, in exchange of uh, spending it at uh, distributorship? We are having everyone survive, including the distributorship. The spending power is, is, has reduced significantly. We understand that uh, in law and in a textbook economic uh, context, you're meant to increase the excise duty with inflation, but things on the ground are different. We took our ground in Itofauti. We would appreciate this if the economy was thriving. We would not even be here if the economy is thriving. But we are in a place where we are all trying to survive. It, putting 5%, five, 5%, 5 having an increase of 5% on this 31 product, specifically in the alcohol industry, basically kills us. So we implore KRA to kindly have meaningful discussions. As the president said, uh, let us stimulate the economy. The alcohol industry is one of the largest, top three after the telecom industry. I think top two after the telecom industry where you have tax collected from us. We are not refusing to pay taxes. We have always paid our taxes diligently. But let us realize that we are in, inter in an interesting period. We are in a period of pandemic where we are all trying to have the economy actually open up. Uh, finally, we would want to employ the, the president. We are very expectant as an industry that the economy and specifically the eateries and the bars will get opened. So it is our prayer that the next speech, the government and the president, His Excellency, will be able to open the eateries so that we have all these people that are jobless and all these are employees that have been pending and hoping for us to be able to open businesses open and we have everyone thrive. Thank you very much. And we are alarmed by the proposal by the Kenya Revenue Authority and I would like, and would like to appeal to them and the National uh, Treasury to reconsider it. As a sector, we have over the years been concerned about the continued 
uncertainty and unpredictability of the tax policies formulated by the National Treasury and imp implemented by the KRA over alcoholic beverages. We were therefore glad when the National Assembly agreed with a proposal to amend the Excise Duty Act to make it mandatory for the KRA to consult the Treasury and to have public participation before the inflationary adjustment is made uh, every year. This provision takes effect from January 2021, but in view of the economic conditions this year, we are of the opinion that the spirit of the changed law should be embraced should not uh, should not be should be embraced this year. We are looking forward to a resumption of business soon, if the government is of the view that the infection rates have declined well enough. But we are concerned that the sector will face difficulties getting back on its feet if the increased taxes kick off at the same time. Every distributor supplies. Uh, on average about 680 bars and numerous, numerous wines and spirits shops. Uh, each bar employs uh, five people, earning a salary of, of 30,000 on average. <clears throat> reopening the sector gives us an opportunity to get back on track, but reopening with an increase in prices will do more harm than good and hurt the objectives, the Revenue Authority and the National Treasury had in the first place. Increasing the excess duty rate would be out of tune with the pain and the challenges the sector has faced over the past six months. And in the circumstances, the Kenya Revenue Authority and the National Treasury ought to consider. We urge them to have in mind the hundreds of thousands of workers in the sector who are likely to end up jobless.